Now one of the big myths about high carb days or high calorie days or refeed days, if we're talking about single days, they don't seem to help with reducing metabolic adaptation or making even a big benefit for fat loss compared to just continuous dieting. But what they might be useful for is if you've got some training sessions that are much more difficult than other training sessions, it's perfectly okay to have some higher calorie days on those hard training sessions. Keeping in mind that your overall calorie deficit is part of a weekly calorie budget. So the higher you take your high days, the lower you're gonna have to take your low days. A lot of people take this way too far. They take their calories down to a really low level just so they can justify binge eating on their high calorie days. This isn't healthy and it's probably less effective because typically the higher people's calories get, the less strict they get with tracking. So I'd really recommend if you're gonna use higher calorie days, just make it a modest increase, usually up to around maintenance. One of the things that's unique about this course is I don't just give you one formula to try and figure out how many calories somebody should be eating. We use data and feedback, as well as a few equations to figure out what the best method is for the individual case. Now you can tailor this to your clients based on the data and feedback you're getting to improve their results. Learn this and more in my course, Training the Physique Athlete.